Hello and welcome to this GCSE explainer on large scale agriculture. You've got an image here, a satellite image from NASA. Wonderful uh, image in the north there, you can see some mountainous areas uh, which haven't been developed, but in the south here, this whole coastal area, um, you've got the Mediterranean Sea um, down here, that's the area that, that marked in dark. Um, all of these areas are greenhouses or there are there's an axis of, of, of settlements and towns. Okay. Um, so you can see these areas in here, they're all settlements which house the owners and workers from these greenhouses. Here you can see an image of those greenhouses spread out. So you can see the town in the background and you can see these greenhouses covered in plastic producing fresh fruit and vegetables for European markets. So it's an absolutely massive area of uh, agriculture. And it's pretty amazing that it's there because this part of Spain, Almeria, Spain, uh, it has high temperatures, ideal temperatures for, for growing food. Uh, you can see the average there on the red line. Uh, but a, a, a dearth of um, an absolute scarcity of water. So the blue bars show precipitation. The actual total precipitation for this area classifies it as a desert. It's less than 228 uh, millimeters per year so less than the 250 needed um, to not be classified a desert so this part of the Costa del Sol in the south coast of Spain and Almeria it's a uh, it's pretty unforgiving landscape it's got desert scrub plants and very dry soils I've mentioned that it's one of the driest parts of Europe uh, but it is the center of that agricultural revolution there's millions of tons of vegetables exported to other European countries and other parts of the world from this part of Spain every year it's got a huge number of greenhouses, okay, and they're found 30 kilometers southwest of the city of Almeria in southern Spain. And a couple of little facts for your case study. It's estimated that there's 40,000 hectares of greenhouses producing 2.7 million tons of produce each year. And that creates over a billion euros worth of economic activity. So current prices, that's about a billion pounds. You can see where it is there in southern Spain. Okay, so some of the major towns uh, on that southern Spanish coastline. And there's Almeria. And there's the area of high concentration of greenhouses. And you can see how that area has changed over time from that satellite image as well. So um, you can really see the extent and the development of that area as an agricultural area. The farming type is, is really high tech. So uh, in the 1950s, any plants the farmers planted in this area were simply blown down by the wind. When the farmers put a plastic sheet in on poles to stop the wind damage in their plants, they realized that that had a secondary benefit. It helped the plants ripen earlier. So protecting the crops meant that farmers could make the barren landscape fertile with the added bonus of extending the growing season. The farmers saw the chance to turn the area into a massive market garden using enormous greenhouses. So there are greenhouses with over a quarter of a million kilos of tomatoes um, and the plants are growing undercover. And as we saw in the last explainer, these plants are growing hydroponically. So the, the plants are, are, are often grown without soil. They grow in grow bags with what's effectively loft insulation and a mix of water and nutrients. You can see the pipes there pumping that water and nutrients into the base of the, the base of the plant. It's an industrial method of growing crops and they can get two crops per year. That obviously has uh, advantages and disadvantages. So the area produces lots of cheap, fresh fruit and vegetables for people all year round. That's a good thing. Um, crops can be grown outside the normal growing season. The European Union and the Spanish government offer their support through infrastructure and sources of funding. They've got large amounts of cheap temporary labour available to help in the farm and many of those coming from Eastern Europe and North Africa. The fruit and vegetables need packing, that creates extra jobs. There's factories produce the necessary plastic and recycle it. Many of those big agribusinesses have located in the area given research and development jobs. Um, hydroponic growing techniques have helped to save on soil and resources and boost harvests. So uh, there's lots of things there, including, you know, they've got a desalinization plant now as well to help provide water. Lots of positives to the type of farming. But there are also disadvantages. So I'll just go through a couple of those. The immigrant labor force pay very low wages and they live in poor conditions. 
some of the immigrants are from North Africa and work illegally in Spain, and that creates creates racial tension in the in the region. And then uh, I guess some of the major ones are that there's environmental impacts. So the plastic used often been uh, badly damaged. It's dumped in rivers. It's burnt. It's toxic. It's hazardous. The greenhouses often use pesticides to protect the crops, um, and those increase health risks for workers there. Large amounts of litter have been left in the area. Uh, local river beds have been blocked up for the water, and then if those break, that could cause catastrophic flooding because they do get intense rain storms in that part of Spain. And then there's a huge um, strain on local um, water sources as well. So um, in terms of tasks, you can describe what you see on the satellite image. What are the main land uses? And um, then you can locate the area okay, in a paragraph. And then why would it be difficult to grow crops here? So you'll need to use evidence from the, from the graph. There's a great video there from Supersized Earth from the BBC. You could answer those four questions based on the on the video. And then you can classify the information in this table as economic, social or environmental. So a C, C analysis. Uh, and you can also add a P or an N if they're positive or negative. And the answers were on that slide. And then to review, little exam question. Discuss the statement, uh, greenhouse agriculture in Almeria has been a huge success. As usual, there's a worksheet to go with that, just there with spaces for you to write in and answer those questions. You can use the highlighter tool to highlight the, the text. Okay, and we'll just finish up with a, a little joke. Why doesn't McDonald's serve escargot? It's not fast food.